name is Tamothy. I grew up in a small town in Missouri. I'm the oldest of 21 children. There are 12 girls, nine boys, no twins, same parents. And I tell these stories about my family, about all of the kids, and all of the animals, and all of the clothes, and all the wire hangers, and all the craziness. And sometimes after the show, people will say, I wish your parents could come so we could meet them. And I think, I don't think you were listening very well to my story that I just told. But I think that I've left out a key element. They think it's just a lot of kids and a lot of animals and a lot of wire hangers and things like that. But really, it doesn't matter. There didn't, there were, it doesn't matter how many kids are there or how many animals. My parents are like a hurricane, like the eye of the hurricane. And wherever they go, chaos follows them. And strange things happen, coincidences happen, and people get into trouble and people get out of trouble and all kinds of things happen and it's impossible to not get sucked into it. Do you see how we're all just sitting here tonight enjoying the show? If my parents came, that wouldn't happen. Everything would go wrong, or maybe everything would go incredibly right, but you can't predict which one it's gonna be. So, I live far away from my family. They live in Missouri, and I miss them a lot, and I call home. This week, I called home. This week, there was a lot of noise in the background. It was two wild peacocks that have taken up resident in my parents' yard and are stealing all of their goat food. So my dad is busy throwing rocks at it the whole time he's on the phone with me. He can't chase them because he was attacked by a dog this week while helping a lady with a liver problem. Last week he was fine. Uh, he was able to go and slaughter a cow, a 1,500-pound cow that fell and broke its leg in the neighbor's pasture, and the neighbor couldn't move it. And so he said, if you can come and shoot it, you can have it. So that was exciting for the whole family, and they called to tell me about all the free meat, and that was fun. And that kind of thing happens regularly, and it would happen to you, right here in this room, if my parents came to visit me. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. And this has been my whole life. When I was growing up, about once a month, something terrible would happen to our van, usually on the way to the doctor's office or on the way to the hospital, because my mom always had to go to the hospital a lot, to the doctors a lot. We were little kids, and we were always needing stitches, and breaking things, and then she was always in labor, so we were always on the road to the hospital. And that's when the horrible thing would happen to the car, like two or three of the tires would go out at the same time. And then some unsuspecting person would come along to help, and then my mom would say, no, I've got it. I'm in labor, but I'm fine. And she's trying to get the tire off. But of course they would insist that they need the help. And there's always 18 kids in the car sweating and hitting each other and pulling each other's hair out. And so they feel obligated to not just help fix the tire, but to take you back to their house. And so this is the part that I hated. It was so embarrassing. But we went, we went back to these nice people's house. And pretty soon, strange things would happen at their house. Wild peacocks would show up and their cow would break their ankles. But a lot of times my parents would help them too. They're really good at spotting mysterious lumps that need to see the doctor immediately. They have saved so many lives. Or spotting that tree that's about to fall on your house. And the tree guy comes and he says, if you had waited another week, there had been one big storm, that tree would have fallen right on your house. Or my dad is really good at spotting fault, faulty wiring. And uh, the fire guy comes, or the repairman comes, and he says, if you hadn't called me when you did, this whole house would have gone up in smoke. And the people are so grateful. And when I meet them, they say, your parents were a godsend. <laughs> they saved our lives. But I'm thinking, I don't know if that lump or that faulty wiring or that bad branch was there before my parents <laughs> <laughs> and yes, So these people take us back to their house. We become enmeshed in their lives for at least a day. We, we trade animals. We trade food. They love us. Because to them, we are this miraculous, incredible thing that happened in their small, quiet, peaceful lives. And they send us Christmas cards, and they come and bring us things at Christmas time. They bring us hands and fruit baskets, and we love it. But we can barely remember who they are. Because this happens to us every month. We got a whole list of these people. We're like, which ones were they? So that's what would happen. I miss my parents. On Mother's Day, I'm going to call my mom, and I will miss her so much. And I will want to be with her. But at the same time, I will feel so safe being here. <laughs>